My name is Professor David Jerozalmi. I'm in the Chemistry and Biochemistry Department at City College. And the course that I'm teaching is called What is Life? The course focuses on bringing together the elements of chemistry, biology, and physics together to allow us to understand uh, life, how life works. Uh, f physicists have, been, have come into studying biology for since the beginning of, of the revolution of mo in molecular biology, which took place roughly in the 40s and 50s. Uh, chemists bring their own, their own interests and their own skill sets to understanding this as well. And then, of course, biologists are studying life, of course. But, but physicists and chemists bring very special ways of, of tackling problems that, that have brought uh, uh, real advances to our understanding. The field gets siloed into a particular set of questions, and, and others are working in other silos. And so often what happens in, a, in, in science or other fields of inquiry is someone will wonder what's going on in the other silos. And someone in one silo will say what's going on over here and, and, and attempt to, to bridge the gaps between the silos. And, and often those lead to, to transformations in, in understanding. For example, the, the idea of, of understanding the structure of molecules is something that, that emerged from physics. Uh, physicists have used electromagnetic radiation, x-rays and other kinds of radiation. And in the course of their studies, it, beco it becomes clear that, that the use of, of, of this kind of radiation for imaging would be valuable in other fields. There, there's not a, a textbook, for example, doesn't really exist for this. And so uh, in preparation for the course, I've looked at, at a whole bunch of textbooks and tried to, to pick and choose from each one. So it, it's been exciting to pick through the offerings and to, and to synthesize them in a new way.